Hi there, Chris here today, and today I want to show you a couple things about the hexagon hydrogen alkaline water filtration system. Um, just a quick overview, the filtration system has four actual cartridges, and each of these cartridges has different components within it. Some of them have multiple stages of filtration, so like the first one has a ceramic with activated carbon and chlorine and um, organic chemical removal on the inside so that cleans up all the nasty stuff out of the water. The second phase alkalizes the water. The third phase or cartridge um, adds magnesium and calcium to the water. And then the fourth stage goes in there and tweaks it and adds even more uh, trace minerals stuff like iron, magnesium, zinc, calcium, sodium, potassium, manganese, etc. So trace minerals and things, there's even like a coral media inside there. And then it goes out of there into the energy activating device, which spins it through a little tiny vortex, adds energy to the water, makes it maintain and keep a smaller molecular cluster for a longer time, and then it passes it through a magnetic field up here in the top um, so that it cleanses the water's memory believe that stuff. Some people do, some people don't, but it can't hurt. Anyway, I've got my diverter up here. Remember this is the sink? I turn the diverter. I get water flowing out of the unit. I'm going to take a quick drink here. And what I want to show you today is how to clean the outside of your first cartridge. Notice I've got my valve here open. I've got the sink off. I'll even turn this off. So we know there's no pressure on the pipe that feeds the unit. Because if, when I'm going to take a cartridge out of here, I need to know that there's not pressure pushing up on that cartridge. So you always want to make sure this is open and that your sink is off. Um, if your sink was on, obviously you'll have water flowing through the unit. If you pull one of these pins off while there's water flowing through the unit, it will pop out of there and make a big old mess. So it will make a little bit of a mess, not bad, when we pull this out. So again, I've let the pressure off. So I pull this pin off here. I hold down on the top of the cartridge just in case there's any pressure. I let off. There doesn't seem to be. Push up from the bottom with my hand and I pull this cartridge out not much of a mess, there's just a little bit of water sitting right there. What we're going to do today is if you notice the flow of your unit slowing down, it might mean that you need to clean the outside of the cartridge. And when you get your unit, you'll get a box with accessories, you'll get a book with instructions, and I believe it talks about cleaning the cartridge in here. Actually, I haven't really looked at the book a guy for you. Huh? Here we go. Cleaning the ceramic filter. It's all pictures. Well, there's a little bit of words there. I'll just show it to you real quickly here. Um, as it's saying, you know, you want to make sure that the pressure's off of the unit. You take the cover off, take the pin, the clamp that holds the cartridge on there. So basically, if the cartridge, you see how it's got a flange on there? This clip goes on there and it's also clipping it to the base of the unit. So when you pull that off it releases this to come out. Okay. So, and then it shows you how you turn the unit upside down and you take it apart with the wrenches. Now the wrenches are inside your accessory kit. So we'll dig those out here. And we'll take this sucker apart. actually loose enough that I could do with my hand, but I should show you how the wrenches work, because usually it really shouldn't be that loose. The one that has the bigger, just the four little rings goes on the outer part of the cartridge like this, and this one goes on the top. And then it shows you um, which direction's closed, so obviously to open it you would go the opposite direction, and you'll get water all over. Now I'm going to the wet. Um, put that up there. I'm going to take the, I'll leave that on there. I'm going to pull the inside of the 
unit out. Now, what I've got here now is just the ceramic inner part of the cartridge. So you can see I took this out of here in case I was blocking the camera. Now what we're going to do is carefully, we don't want to drop that, it could break, so you want to be it's fragile, be gentle, but it comes with this big toothbrush looking unit and it's, it's a little bit harder, you wouldn't want to brush your teeth with this, but what we're going to do is dump that out of there just so we don't make a mess. We're going to run some water, and this is just cold water, even though that's the hot side. And I'm going to brush the outside of this filter, running under the water, and scrub the outer parts of that ceramic. And you can see how it's hopefully kind of changing the color of it even a little bit. It'll even wear it off a little, but that's okay. It's thick and I'll show you that in a minute. But you want to get the outer layer cleansed on the unit so that it allows the water to flow through there more easily. You can see where I've even made some grooves with this brush on here, but again, I wouldn't worry about that, and I'll show you why in a minute. The main thing is just get it clean. Um, if you did break this or whatever for some reason, you can replace this cartridge. This one here is $50 for what I'm holding in my hand. So again, being fragile, you want to not break it. Looks like we've got that pretty clean. I'm going to just work on the top here a little bit, too. And that's about it, and it feels nice and sandy and rough now, and that's what we want. Now, and you can probably see the color is even a little different. Now, you'll notice this just has one thing here, and that's actually the outlet on this filter. The other part has two things. So what happens is the water flows in on the outside of this and gets pushed through this cartridge into the media. Now I happen to have a unit that got damaged in shipping that I want to show you so that you know what you're dealing with here. This one got broke on the base of that piece that I just took apart. So, but you can see inside here, hopefully, the media, that's activated carbon, and then these little white balls are a chlorine removal media. They're specifically designed to attack chlorine and, you know, break it apart and grab onto it. Um, so this will clean out all your organic chemicals, but what I wanted to show you is the thickness here of this ceramic. Now, this is a 0.3 micron ceramic, so what that means is within this the porosity is very very tiny so it's almost like a reverse osmosis it has to push the water through that thick wall of ceramic before it gets into here and before it flows through your unit so if you imagine that just has a bunch of tiny little holes as it starts to clog up with stuff from your water you'll need to brush off the outside of it and clean it like we just did now one other trick and this goes for putting your unit together as well that I'm going to point out here today is when you put this unit back together, and I'm going to just rinse this out good, it shouldn't really matter, but um, because it's the, again the first stage of the filter, so it's not going to make a lot of difference because you could put the dirty water in here and it wouldn't even matter because this is where the dirty water starts, or your tap water. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with some water here. And it won't take much, but if you fill it maybe half full, and then I'm going to slowly lower this guy into that over the sink here because it's going to overflow. Now, the reason I'm doing this is we don't want to let um, air get trapped inside of this filter. Trouble here. 
important to cooperate with me. So maybe also going to just fill up the side of this to make sure that that cartridge is full. Again, what we're trying to do is make sure that there's no air trapped in there because if you have air trapped in there, what will happen is your unit will bubble and spit when you shut it off. So you'll notice I have a little bit of air in there in the top of this thing. And that's okay, as long as it's above this, it should, should be alright. But if this thing's half full of air, when you push the water in there, it's pressurizing that air, and it'll push the water back out of it when you let the water off. So you want to always prime this cartridge with some water. The numbers go to the back, so it'll only fit in here this way. Actually, this one kind of goes to the side this way. So the rest of them go to the back. We put our clip on. I'm going to just take a paper towel and clean up my mess here real fast. We've got a little bit of water all over, so you probably don't want to do this on top of your fine antique wooden table or anything, but if you're near the sink, it should be all right and not too messy. Now, we can go ahead and test the unit turn the tap on, turn the diverter on, and it's pushing water through that cartridge we just cleaned. Um, now I don't know if this is per se any faster, but it looks like it's maybe a little bit faster. So if your flow rate's down on your unit, that's what you need to do. Now this is what I'm talking about. If there was air in there, like this is going to stop flowing here pretty quickly. And you'll notice in the cartridge, the water level did not change. If this is running a long time after you shut your sink off, you have air locked in this cartridge and you need to take it apart and then prime it like I just did and, and clean it while you have it apart. You might as well. You can clean that. It kind of depends on your input water, but probably as often as once a month if you have really bad water like well water, regular household water probably every six months is sufficient. So. Um, that's your call. If you notice the water flow is slowing down, that's where I would start. Thanks. Have a great day.